time. I'm ready. I'm not really ready, but I'm kind of ready. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> What's up my beautiful babes? So I did post on my Instagram today who won the Live Your Extra Life contest. It's super exciting. If you wanna know who won, go to my Instagram at bradmondonyc. And if you're not already following me, like what are you doing? It's actually such a lit Instagram. <laughs> so definitely go there and check out who won. They're so excited and I cannot wait to make a video with them. So get ready to see this epic fan makeover video coming in the near future. It's gonna be amazing. The person I picked is so awesome and I cannot wait for you guys to hear her story and who she is and what she's all about. It's gonna be amazing, honestly. I so badly wanna get to 100,000 followers on Instagram. I'm at like 73,000 or something. And like, girl, I have how many on YouTube? What, come on. And then I have 722,000 on YouTube. Where are you guys on Instagram? <laughs> Instagram is my sh I love Instagram. Follow me on there, you won't regret it. You'll see a lot of behind the scenes of my life. I post a lot on my Instagram story. I don't use Snapchat, so I use a lot of Instagram story. So if you wanna get to know me a little bit better, then you know, follow me on Instagram, girl. And I always love to see all your beautiful faces on Instagram. See who is behind the camera. Who are you? Who is watching me? Follow me on Instagram and I will see your face and I will probably like your pictures because I always like everybody's pictures and I comment on things. And I love communicating with you guys because I actually care about you, believe it or not. <laughs> so it's been almost three weeks since my last Bleach Fail reaction video and they're, they're very close to being my favorite reaction video that I do. I just think they're so entertaining and people mess up their hair so badly and I just cannot believe what they do to themselves. So today I am gonna watch this video by Sophia de Sancti, Sanctis, Sanctis. I'm sorry, Sophia, I literally have no idea how to pronounce your last name. And her video is titled, Too Blonde from Black Box Dye, Bleaching Mental Breakdown. And then she has in parentheses, ammonia free. Well, Sophia, thank God it's ammonia free. I mean, <laughs> who cares if your hair broke off or like it was orange or whatever, at least it was ammonia free, right? <laughs> Let's get it started. Hey, I'm gonna be doing some pretty cool, scary stuff. Yeah, you I'm are. I'm actually going to be going from oh, this my uh, level one, pretty much artificially dyed hair, to she's f um. I'm she's assuming so realistically anywhere between a level six and level seven uh, lift. Okay, well, so that's not... we are going to be using bleach. At least she's not trying to get it that way. Totally terrifying. And I want to say that I'm one of the most cautious people <laughs> um, going blonde because I've bleached my hair before uh -huh. and I've burned my hair off before. <laughs> so, um, like, I'm talking cotton <laughs> candy, stretching, hair never dries, like, have to cut it short and wear a wig for almost a year. And that's about to happen burned again. Burned my hair off. So, um, I like the dark on her. It's kind of wavy. I don't, uh, think she should go I don't blonde, know if it's dry, but I went through my hair like a couple of days ago. I have no split ends. Like my hair <laughs> is in pretty good shape. It's thin, relatively straight. She's like checking every piece. But I have a lot She's of like, it. I have and, no uh, split ends. <laughs> I don't want to lose a lot of it in this process. I'm freaking out. Okay, so Perfect. It's um, a great first start. we're gonna start with We haven't even applied the bleach yet and she's like, I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh god, this is bad. This is starting off bad. The Pravana uh, hair extractor kit, you got I got Olplex. Olplex? One and two because um, that's going to keep the bonds of my hair in a relatively healthy state. I got um, ammonia free powder lightener. I've never used this um, But it says it's safe for on and off uh, scalp. Um, I also got the highest volume that they had in the ammonia free uh, developer. Great. 
which is 32 volume, which is not... 32? Not necessarily the way I wanted to go, uh, because Olaplex does dilute the power of the developer. So essentially yeah. this is 32 volume. Using Olaplex is going to make it a 22 volume. Um, I don't have that much experience with Olaplex, but, but I'm pretty sure Olaplex will make a 32 volume into a 16 volume. It'll make whatever it is half of that. So basically that's not going to be powerful enough at all to break through black box dye. <coughs> I also got uh, so much an stuff. 18 volume developer just in case. Uh, 18 developer um, and 32 volume developer. I also got a couple of toners. I really wanted to try the T35 because it's like a beige blonde, like almost a champagne blonde. And that's really the color that I want to go for. But I also got a medium blonde intense ash. And then the rest of the stuff that I got is just like uh, stuff that you need. That is about it. Just gonna say one more thing before this starts. She's probably spent. I'm guessing over $150, probably more than that, on supplies to color her own hair. I hope she realizes that if she went to a salon, she would have paid, I mean, a bit more than that, but not a whole lot more than that. If you're gonna already commit to $150 to do it yourself and waste your time and break and damage your hair, and make more of a problem for yourself, why don't you just go to a salon and have a professional do it? Save yourself the time, save your mental health. It might sound like a big investment to spend three upwards of $300 on your hair color, but it's worth it, it's your appearance. And you know, hair is important to people. It's very important. So that's all, Sophia, that's all I wanted to say. Okay, so just a little update, I've already, Mixed parts one and two. That's kind of what it looked like. Um, I winged it. She winged it. And I already have one half of my head done. And now I'm just working on the other half. So, so. she's stripping out the color first, which is a good idea. Not with bleach, but with hair color here. stripper. We don't really have to be. It's just gonna take out the artificial sure uh, hair color molecules out of her hair. Okay, good sectioning. Right. So I'm gonna finish the rest of this head. Doing a thorough job. Pop on a cap and then let it sit. Okay, so at this point, I've already, I just finished this side. And I don't know if you could see it, but it's already lightening. Or not lightening, but it's. it's taking those artificial. It's definitely changing color. color molecules out of there. Oh, wow, it made a big yeah, difference. Really so. It's a good place to start. I think I'm just gonna stop here. <laughs> Probably a good idea. A little heat on it, even though okay, there's already kind of some heat so... going on, and actually I can feel it on my roots, which is bad because I didn't put any, uh, purposely man. put any uh, uh, dye or bleach on my roots. I didn't want to do that. Because I'm like, well, it's gonna take, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> roots process quicker, and I feel the heat on my roots. So, mm -hmm. um. <laughs> so, she ended up applying the bleach to her entire head, and now it's processing. We're gonna see. I what just happens. hope this doesn't turn ugly. And, like, the whole reason why I oh, chose Oh my god. Like, you can see how well, splotchy and terrible it looks it. already. Oh uh, no! Oh See, it's becoming it's it's a f show now. I have no organization. I'm not using gloves. <laughs> She's so pissed. I'm freaking out right now. She's I'm so freaking bad. out. Hold on. I'm regretting this decision because of the effort required. <laughs> I told you. Should have just gone this long. The effort not because is I'm way not too liking much. What's happening? It's just <laughs> way too much effort. Freaking ridiculous. We're all washed, and uh, I'm ready to see it. I put Olaplex in my hair for oh, gosh. about five minutes, and then um, went in, got a really good lather, make sure that all the product is out. 
I wasn't paying attention. All right. So unveil the hair. Big reveal time. I'm ready. I'm not really ready, but I'm kind of ready. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Oh. Goddamn round one. Oh. Which is bullshit. Oh. I'm so upset right now. Look at that. Oh. Um. It looks terrible. <laughs> and my face is really shiny right now. I mean, she lifted it like seven levels. That's a lot. And especially because she had black box dye. It's going to be very difficult to lift that out, and I'm I'm satisfied with this result, honestly. I'm not happy at all. Oh, no, no. So I'm, I'm not going to go... I'm so mad if my hair in, looks like that. Um, I think I'm just going to... So mad. Put a color on it. Put a really nice, um, thick, uh, consistency bleach all around the head, and then I went on... Uh, for about 40, no, 50 minutes, left that all in. I know that there's like dark spots and stuff like that. I'm not super concerned about that. Cool. What I'm going to do is um, tone it, uh, try to bring it back. As long as you're not concerned about it. <laughs> as good as condition as I can. It does? There's, there's some yellow spots. There's some other stuff. Uh, but the, the point is, is that my hair is still in a in a decent enough state where it's not breaking. It's not cotton candy. I can feel the developer working, and that scares me, so I'm gonna go print it out, and then I'll be back. These are the- I- I can feel the developer working, that scares me. It's supposed to work. I'm impressed. It's not bad. Definitely blonde. For what she had- what she came Definitely from- Definitely kind of orange, too, And got but... to. Chuck, That's I'm shook. gonna have to stay for a while. I mean, it's not super orange, Her hair looks but super definitely. healthy. Some super cool Wow. Good job, Sophia. Undertones. Obviously she needs to bleach it like another two this times like, to get to her goal. This is what it but looks like after being dried and a little bit curled. It's a pretty good job. Alright, so just because Sophia didn't completely fail at coloring her hair at home doesn't mean you should do it. <laughs> I know you're getting ideas. Even she said, I regret this just because it's taking so much time and so much effort, like, not worth it. Just go sit in a chair at a salon and get pampered and just pay the extra money for it. It's worth it, I swear. <laughs> and make sure you check out my Live Your Extra Life merch at liveyourextralife.com. And today's Instagram shout out goes to Olivia. This is her Instagram name and this is what she looks like. Olivia says, hey, I love your videos so much and I'm thinking about dyeing my hair a lighter blonde. What do you think? Yes, 100%, for sure. You have a beautiful pink undertone in your skin. Therefore, a nice ashy platinum blonde will look fabulous on you and will really complement your skin tone. I also really feel like you should cut your hair maybe to like here or a little bit shorter. I like the long, I like long hair on you, but I feel like it's almost overwhelming. Like I feel like if you just had it a little bit shorter, it would make such a difference and maybe have a little bit of angling around your face down here. Just to kind of accentuate your face a little bit more. You have a gorgeous face, girl. You better, you gotta bring it out with your hair, you know? Come on. So I hope that helps you. Definitely go blonde, get a little bit of a trim, do some layering. It'll look fabulous. Do it, girl. Do it. Give this video a like or don't if you don't really want to. I completely get it. Oh, and also you should totally hit the subscribe button. It's super easy to press. You just go on your mouse pad and you just, you know, click. Super easy. I've done it so many times. I can, I highly recommend, you know, just clicking that button. It'll be really good for you and really good for me. And then, you know, if you really feel like so inclined to also uh, press the bell button next to it, that'll give you notifications for when I post and that would also be super cool. I've, I've heard it's really cool and I heard people really love it. But if you don't want to do that either, that's totally fine. I totally get it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.